Video 3, Treble Notes. We know from the first two videos that we have seven notes in the Western tradition and that we use clefs to show the placement of those notes on the staff. You'll remember that the treble clef shows us by use of the spiral at the bottom of the clef that line two is the line that contains the pitch G. Because we know that the second line is the pitch G, it's easy to understand that the rest of the notes fill in sequentially both above and below that line. How can you possibly remember all of that though? If you don't already play an instrument and you have to learn it, how are you going to go about it? Well, for thousands of years, people have been using a device known as mnemonics which, as you can see, is not necessarily spelled exactly how it sounds, but it's a way of helping your brain to remember something new. What makes it really convenient for learning music is that every note has a letter, and every letter can stand for the beginning of a new word. And a list of words set as a sentence, or maybe just a list of words that you're familiar with that make sense to you, can be used to memorize the names of the notes and where they go on the staff. If you're trying to memorize all of the names of the notes on the treble clef, together you might try every flipping gorilla always bends copper dishes every Friday. That may be a lot to try and get in one setting, so most folks when they learn the names of the notes will learn just the lines or just the spaces. Every good boy does fine is what has been used most for learning the lines. The spaces simply spell the word face. Or, if you prefer, you can make far away cows elope. Now how's that for an image? Now it's your turn to be creative. See what you can come up with, what list of words, what sentence you can come up with that helps you to learn the lines and spaces in the treble clef. Bring your best ideas to class. We'll see what we come up with.